Today, I'm firing up the Oklahoma Joe's Highland because I'm gonna be making double smoked bourbon honey glazed ham. So what does double smoked mean? Well, double smoked means kind of what it says a ham has already been smoked once. What I have here is about a nine pound spiral cut smoked ham. Fully cooked. You can just warm it up in the oven and eat it. But you know what? I wanna give it some more flavor. And that's that hickory smoke flavor and that bourbon honey glaze we're gonna put on it. But that glaze is gonna come closer to the end of the cooking process. Before that and before we get it out to the smoker, I wanna get a good rub on this. Now pick your own favorite rub. I'm gonna be using a Wise Rub. I've mentioned it before. I don't have any idea who made it. It was given to me as a gift. It's set on the package, Wise Rub, and it's a really good rub and I'm almost out of it and I wish I knew who made it so I can get some more. But we're gonna start coating the outside of this spiral cut ham. And you wanna give it a little bit of a rub here to try and get some of this flavor pushed in between those slices on the surface. As I mentioned, we're gonna get a lot of flavor from that glaze and from the hickory smoke, but we wanna get this rub in here too. All right, I'm gonna transfer this to a foil pan and we're gonna get our ham out on the smoker. We've got really clean smoke rolling out of the Oklahoma Joe's Highland smokestack, so let's get this double smoked ham on. This is my internal temperature probe. It's much easier to feed it through before the cooker is hot. As long as it's sterile and you wrap it in foil, it's gonna work great. I also have two water pans filled up over here. I'm only using two today. Now the reason for the foil pan is once we put that glaze on later, that will really help with the mess. Otherwise, you're gonna have that glaze dripping down all over the baffle plates below into your smoker. This just makes it a little cleaner. I wanna get my temperature probe in here. Let's see if we got good placement. 35.5 degrees, I think we hit a nice cold spot in that ham because it just came out of the refrigerator. Yes, my refrigerator's cold, I like it that way. You might notice I have something else on the Oklahoma Joe's Highland today. Well, that's another video. You'll see that coming. We are looking good. It is time to get this closed up and double smoke this ham. So the smoker temperature that I'm shooting for today is between 250 and 300 degrees. That's a good range. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be burning hickory today for fuel and for smoke. And the internal temperature we're going for on the ham is 140 degrees. That will be fully warmed up. It's a fully cooked ham. At about 120 degrees, that's when we're gonna glaze it. So I'll bring you back when we're getting close to that or when we need to check the wood. While our ham is coming up to temperature out there and before it gets close to that 120 degree internal where we're gonna glaze it, I wanna go ahead and get the glaze ready. What I'm starting with here is about a half a cup of honey. To this, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of brown sugar. Yeah, let's make it sweeter. A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and two tablespoons of bourbon. And we're gonna mix this up. Really wanna thin this out, get especially that bourbon incorporated into the honey. I'm gonna take a little taste here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that is good, okay. That's gonna be the perfect little kick on the outside of that ham. So this is ready. We're just gonna wait for that ham to reach that internal temperature of 120 so we can glaze it. All right, our ham's been cooking for about an hour and a half, 63 degrees internal, pit temp 262, looking good. But I wanna check it and see if I wanna spritz this. Oh, looking good. Still have really nice moisture on there. But I do want to give it a little spritz. I see a couple dry spots here. Let that spritz run down the back side here. That's really all it needs. But while we're out here, let's check the wood too. Yep, we're pretty well burned down. Let's get another piece of hickory in there. I also want to knock any of the ashes from the basket down. Get good airflow. Let our wood catch. And we'll close it up. And I think we'll scrape some ashes out of the firebox. Get my ash container under here. Just want to get a little of the excess out. Let's close it back up. 
Okay, we've got some nice clean smoke coming out of there. Our hickory's burning good. Bring you back in a while when it's time to check this ham again. All right, we are at 120 degrees internal. It's time to glaze this ham. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna take my bourbon honey glaze, start hitting this. You can see how some of those spirals have opened up here. Get some of that glaze inside there. That is beautiful. All right, let's slide our foil pan back in. Let's close our lid. And let this finish up. All right, we have hit 140 internal on our honey bourbon glazed ham. Let's have a look at it and get it out of there. Oh, nice. That is a beauty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this off here. We're gonna get it inside, let it rest for maybe five, 10 minutes, then I'm gonna have a taste. All right, here is our double smoked honey bourbon glazed ham, or is it bourbon honey glazed ham? Honestly, I don't really care because this thing just looks amazing. It smells great. I hope you can see how the glaze set on there, that nice, shiny, crusty sort of exterior. It looks great. You can see the separations in the spiral slicing. And let's just cut into this. I'm just gonna go straight along the side where we're gonna get some slices out of here. Let me go to the side here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Let's turn this bad boy. Oh yeah. No, I'm not a fan of the spiral slice in many instances because you pay more for it. But in this application, it really works. You get all those flavors that get inside the slices there. There's the fat layer and all the rub and all that glaze that's gotten in there. It just looks terrific. It smells terrific. And I'm not even gonna wait because it's time to taste. So let's get to this. I got a nice piece right here. Let's see. Okay, first thing, what is this called? Double smoked? That's hickory, hickory, hickory. This ham was smoked with hickory before, and we smoked it with hickory. We just amplified that flavor. If you don't like smoke, then you may wanna do this with less smoke, with less wood, or maybe a more mild wood. But I gotta tell you, hickory with ham just works great and double smoking it with hickory just amplifies that terrific flavor. The final cook time on this was about four and a half hours. Now, you can do this much quicker in the oven if you want, but doing that 250-ish smoke on the smoker and giving it that time to really sort of slowly develop flavor and then build that crust at the end, I think it's worth it. Oh, mm, that glaze. That honey bourbon glaze or bourbon honey glaze or whatever you want to call it is just fantastic on the outside of this. Now, I've done pre-cooked hams before on the Weber kettle and the electric smoker. I don't think I've ever done one on video in the offset smoker. And it's just a really nice application of it because that is where you get the most intense smoke flavor, the greatest smoke penetration because you're burning whole pieces of wood to generate your heat, to generate your smoke. And if you are gonna double smoke a ham, the offset's really, I think, the best way to go. Mm. So if you're making a ham for Easter, for Christmas, for any special occasion, or just because you have an extra ham laying around, give it a double smoke, give it a great glaze, start with a rub before you even get it out there, and the results are just gonna blow you away. That is really, really good.